Welcome to Leopoldsburg. Today is the 17th of September 2024 and is the 80th anniversary of Operation Market Garden. In today's ride I'm meeting up with Bart and Bill and I'm riding with my brother the first part of Operation Market Garden route. We're riding the route in order to commemorate the 80th anniversary. Operation Market Garden was an Allied military operation during the Second World War, fought in the German-occupied Netherlands from the 17th to the 25th September 1944. Airborne Operation Market was undertaken by the first Allied Airborne Army comprising of two US and one UK airborne divisions supported by an independent Polish brigade. Their objective was to capture strategic bridges, while the land operation, Garden, was conducted by the British 2nd Army, with 30 Corps moving up the centre. We've arrived at Leopoldsburg sort of and we've met up with Bart and we've got Bill. Bill's come over from the UK and the three of us, Bill, Bart and myself will be riding tomorrow morning and we are now... You're not riding tomorrow morning? Uh, no, I've got the full day here. Ah. So I'm going to go no, to the no, museum. No. We record. Hang on. Yes, for the movie, Cut. you are. Fine. Take Thanks two. We are now going to confirm what I'm going to be doing with Bart for tomorrow's uh, plan. So you've got to be quiet. <laughs> yeah, right. so Myself and Bart are doing what? We're setting off from... Leopoldsburg. Yep and our ETA in Eerde is uh, a little bit before yeah. 3 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, just before 1500. And we'll do some of our stops, which we'll discuss in a minute. Okay. Uh, and then after the drops, we will push on to Graven. Okay, so yeah, okay. Oh, this oh, is oh, like oh, take oh, four. Oh, we still haven't oh, quite finished on the yeah. detail, but we've now interrupted <laughs> then, by the menu um, choice, which of course is all in Dutch. And um, no, he calls Dutch. my Dutch is 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 none. <laughs> your double Dutch, so, your double yeah. Dutch is near perfect. We're going to sort out a menu, <laughs> something to eat, ready for the yeah. cycle ride tomorrow. No, no, it's and Dutch. then we're going to continue it's with Dutch. the planning. So watch so this space. So they also have croquettes, but that's steak camps. Yes. Steak camps, and I don't know what camps what, what, mean. What are camps? But, but steak camps. Steak oh, nature. What is steak camps? So this is a naked steak. Yeah. So does this come dressed? Does this come with a pepper sauce or something? And now Mr. Verhelst is, is choosing what he would like to eat. Gims. What is gims? Gims. Yeah, well, I just asked you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that must be a Belgian word. I'll, so I'll ask it. Well, well, your schnitzel. Ah. Your schnitzel. I'm going to go German. <laughs> German. You it goes on. So I get the frit, the fries, and yeah. the salad bar. The salad bar. No, the fries come with your steak, Fantastic. and you go to the salad, salad bar. bar. Just, just for. A little bit, because you don't look like a guy I'm that takes a lot of salad. With that Let me show you front teeth. No, they're not like a rabbit. And I'm so. going to get the peppercorn sauce, yes. <laughs> yes. With peppercorn sauce. Yes. 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 What are you having there? Yeah. Yeah. Steak yeah. camps. Yeah. steak yeah. camps. We're going German. So we're going, we're going yeah. schnitzel. Schnitzel. So the German side. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going pasta, Italian. steak. Italian. Yeah. Italian. With the Italians, okay. yeah. We're kind of part of the Axis forces. Yeah. Uh, we're going beef. Bully beef, Bully roast beef, beef for, the for the Brits, for the Brits, the Brits. The Brits. Yeah. very yeah. good. Yeah. And Mr. I think Mr. Hell's going to go traditional. He's going to go for the muscles. He's, he's going to go for the muscles. He's going to go for the Nederlander. There we go. He's not going to go for the muscles. Menu choice decided. Uh, and then from here, you guys will return to your campsite in Eerde, yeah. and I will push on to Arnhem. Sounds, sounds very like good. Somebody's got to do the job. It sounds Great. like a plan. Oh, We've got a plan. So all we need off. to do now is work yeah. out C, yeah. C hour, which is cycle hour. That's the start of the ride. What do you recommend? How long do we need to get to do that bit? It depends on the if you want to have tea in Volkswagen or not. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course I want tea in Volkswagen. Well, then we leave a little later. We leave eight o'clock. <laughs> okay, about eight o'clock. So, yeah. Okay, so that's the plan, folks and uh, you can look at the route because I'm going to quickly draw something for you. Our route essentially followed British 30 Corps advance up the main existing road of the time, departing Leopoldsburg and ending at Erder Windmill, some 75 kilometres north-northeast. The route, known as the Corridor, got the nickname Hell's Highway. I'm not going to get into that, I'm not a formal historian, but they kind of stopped around here. Yeah. Uh, thing is, North side of Arnhem We're Bridge still going. was the Paras. South <laughs> Good morning, gentlemen. Morning, sir. Bonjour, senor. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Good morning Bart. How are you? And are you ready for the ride? I am, sir. 
Great stuff. Sorry we're a little bit late, but we're just keeping up British tradition. We're going to start moving that yeah. way. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, go up to the trees. Okay. Yeah. Fine. Just not too far. So, let the ride commence. First objective is the Lindbergh Ring. That's a circular cycleway that rises up to the treetop canopy. Bob, what's this place called? It's called the uh, Pizza in the Bowman or Cycling in the Trees. So it's about a little pathway that goes something like 10 meters up into the treetops and it's about 800 meters long a little nice spin to it so if you still want to feel like a little kid this is the place to go oh wonderful yeah can't miss it can't miss it you can't miss it oh, okay what, what are we looking for <laughs> Hop, 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 hop. <laughs> oh, absolutely fabulous. Sun's coming up just over the treetop. Yes, do it again. <laughs> again. It's the only climbing you're going to get on the route. <laughs> right, I'm coming up. Right off the camera. <laughs> so what do you think, Bill? Oh, it's amazing. I'm glad I came. Glad I met up with you guys. <laughs> what do you think of this thing? So where do you reckon they should put it in the UK? Oh, Thetford, Kielder. Yeah. Places in Wales. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, come on, let's write to RMP. <laughs> so what's the next destination? A bit more sombre now. And they've got a lot more sombre. Yeah. yeah, a lot more sombre. What sort of bike have you got there? Ah, now this is custom built by a very small frame builder in Ironbridge Gorge. Yeah. Uh, they call it Bicycles by Design. So Pete Bird, it's his company. Yeah. He used to be a goldsmith in London. Um, couldn't, get, couldn't get work after he graduated. So he turned his hand to frame building. Right. So if you speak to people in the bike frame building world, yeah. they'll say, that's a swallow. And there's a lot of respect for Pete and his company. So, so it's called a swallow, and swallow. it's made by Bicycles by Design. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, so I'm very pleased with it. This is my retirement present to myself. Excellent. I thought I needed something to uh, while away my retirement years. And hearkening back to Pete Bird's um, uh, goldsmith days, this here, which is the frame number, and it also contains Rob Wade's uh, initials on it, um, is sterling silver. Ah, oh, precious. So it is precious in that respect as well. So don't go steal it. <laughs> <laughs> what a wonderful retirement present to yourself. This is the German cemetery at Lommel. It's a slightly better day today than my last visit, which was gray and overcast. The sun shining across the stones, but it's very somber and, and terribly tragic. The German cemetery at Lommel is the largest German military cemetery in Western Europe, outside Germany itself. The site covers over 16 hectares, 
and there are more than 39,000 soldiers from the Second World War buried here. Initially, 13,000 fallen men were not identified. However, with the use of modern DNA testing, this figure has been halved to 6,480 cases, still not yet identified. So we're going to say goodbye to Pete and Bill. And Lovely to meet you guys. Very nice to meet you too, Bill. And myself and Bart are going to press on. Belgium, Holland. Welcome in Holland. <laughs> so this is the first commemorative point that we've come across and it says what, gate, gateway to the liberation? Correct. It was the recon of the second household cavalry regiment that put uh, a foot on Dutch soil on the 11th of September. So Buchanan Jardine, the famous Daimler Dingo that went with 90 miles per hour all the way to close to Valkenswaard to check on the first bridge. Uh -huh. So that's the corridor, British troops, British 30 Corps heading up that way. So this is the bit where we got to put our foot down and replicate the recce route of Jardine charging up the corridor but not quite at 90 miles per hour. Was that a, a firefly? Yeah, knocked out, knocked out tank. Knocked out tank. I think they let the first few go by. Yeah. And then when, so, when those were by, they knocked out like a couple, five or something like that afterwards. That blocked the road. Needed to get the bulldozers up here all the way from the back. Yeah. So you know that. Considering, oh. considering they left at half past four from Joe's Bridge, you know, they got to uh, Vulcan Swart, which is all in all, I think, something like 15 kilometers. Yeah. It took them the better part of four hours, four and a half hours to get there. So, yeah. some people say it's slow. I also dare to say it might be fast. It's, it's actually, resistant yeah, there. yeah, yep. But then it leads on to the question, why did they stop? Yeah. There is a commemorative point over here. Watch one of my other videos. I'll put a link up here somewhere so you can check that out. This cafe was here back in 1944. And this is the first contact with the, the German units. And we're gonna go up and have a look at some foxholes. And it looks like uh, some sort of commemorative ceremony which is going on right now as we speak. Check out these guys. This is the Volkenswart war ceremony. At the Volkenswart war cemetery, they, there lays soldiers from 30 Corps. Most of the fallen here are from the British Commonwealth. Just stepped into the wood to have a look for the old foxholes. 
very difficult to actually identify them. The wood is covered in spider webs, great big spiders, and we're also watching out for ticks. But uh, anyway, I think maybe some of these shell scrapes here, it's difficult to tell if that's Forestry Commission or some, something, but apparently around here there are the remains of the foxholes. Sherman tank, civilians, amazing. All the way along this part of the corridor, there are these commemorative black and white pictures temporarily put up for the 80th anniversary. Uh, they're positioned more or less exactly where the photographs were taken. Yeah, it's amazing. Look at that. We're coming up to the first bridge a very insignificant little bridge, but nevertheless, it still counts. Bridge number one. Victoria Brook. We're at Volkenswald, and they are preparing for the Freedom Festival. This is the Market Square, where 30 Corps lagered up for that first evening. Over 20,000 vehicles all parked up around the square and down various lanes and avenues around here. But they're celebrating it in good fashion this year. And over here, there looks like some flower displays. Take a look at these. The bees are still collecting the pollen. Even got the church bells playing for us. So at the end of the last ride, I uh, gave Bart a set of my wings and he's doing me a great honor by displaying them on his top tube. So <laughs> that's a very nice little tribute. And an even better tribute is he's gonna buy me a coffee, I hope. Looks like they're flying the route. Are those, uh, they are black hawks. Or no, what? they're wildcat. That's a, a variation of the lynx. I used to fly the lynx, but that's a more modern version, okay. updated. It's not a coffee break, it's a tea break because we're in Volkenswald. Cup of tea, piece of apple cake. And you can tell us Thanks. We're gonna go up that way. St. Catherine's Church, taken by the 101st Airborne Screaming Eagles. Looks like they're giving it a fresh lick of paint. So I don't know if you remember, if you check out some of my earlier videos, just over a year and a half ago, I got the invitation from Bart to come over to Holland and ride this route called the Hell's Highway, following the uh, advance of Operation Market Garden, September 1944. So a year and a half ago, I sat here telling you guys about it. So please do check out my other videos on this route. I'll try and put a link up here for the playlist. And if I can't answer the questions, I definitely know a man that can. And check out Bart's website, and I'll put those details below. Thanks very much. We're at Zun, S-O-N, Sun, to the English tongue. <laughs> this is um, a lot of history on this bridge, but I'm not gonna tell you about it in this video. You have to check out my other videos. But flags are out, parachutes are out. 
Okay, just a quick bit of history then. So this bridge at Son used to be a rotating bridge and the Americans landed to the north and they were pushing south, but they couldn't get to the bridge quick enough because there was an 88 millimeter uh, anti-aircraft gun that's used in the direct fire roll, which repelled them. So then the 30 core engineers came up here, started to build a, a Bailey bridge or some kind of pontoon bridge to get across, only to then be engaged by the Germans um, panzer unit, which came up from the east. So there was quite a lot of engagements here and that further, delayed the whole Operation Market Garden effort. Jeepers! Goodness me, look at that! This is one of the many bivouac camp stops that you will come across. This one is particularly impressive. Up here is the Horrocks, that's 30 core it's the screaming engines. Very important communications. Look at these. Early mobile phones. <laughs> so when the radios don't work. A revert to carrier pigeon. Looks like a canopy caught up in the tree. This is absolutely spectacular. One of those amphibious vehicles. I think they call it a duck. Sort of like a big canoe. Yes, you can just keep them rolling. Uh, yeah. This is what came from Normandy. Rolling, rolling with supplies. Oh, yeah. That's a pretty big truck, isn't it, for, yeah. for the time? Yeah. Well, I've got to say, I wasn't expecting to see this. German representation. These are the greys, German helmets, and then they would break off these, the dog tags, break them off, half would remain on the cross, and the other half went towards recording the loss of that soldier. These 88s were absolutely deadly in the direct fire roll against armour. Is that the sighting? Not a very sophisticated sighting system. Let's look through there. <laughs> Get the cross lined up.
We've made it to the campsite where Bart is going to depart on his way up to Arnhem. We're going to hang around and watch an air mobile assault demonstration, so it's time to say goodbye. Right. It was goodbye, great again, huh? Yeah, it was. It was very good. I got a little something so, for you. You got something for me? A little pin that you can wear when you go into Arnhem next week. That is fantastic. Yeah. I've got my arm. I've got my, I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> Airborne, 1944, lest we forget. There we go. Thank you very much. Cheers. Right. Pete, Bart, it's been a pleasure, mate. Take Absolute care, man. Pleasure. I hope we'll Enjoy see you your last couple point. of days here yes. together. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope either in the UK or back out here, I'll definitely see you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. And enjoy New Zealand. Thank, Thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, be careful with yourself. Yes. yes. Yeah? There's yes. only one Pete. Yeah. Stay tuned folks, for in my next videos I'll be commemorating the 80th anniversary of Operation Market Garden as we watch parachutists drop on the original drop zones and a tribute military convoy comprising of vehicles driving the route to Arnhem where I undertake the 10 km freedom run in honour and respect of those who fought. Thanks for watching.